So today, I pulled out this picture of India. She had her little mermaid spin tail thing on and was hopping from the ladder to go over here so she could jump in. So, um, and this is actually a very common occurrence for her <laughs> at the time. She really loves the weird mermaid fins. So we're gonna do these photos. I'm gonna keep them as one um, so that we can layer our, some, do some paper layers behind it really easily. I've pulled out the Evergreen Bow Distress Oxide. Um, and then I pulled out the um, Splash Drops stencil. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna do this kind of in the center and then have everything kind of shooting out of it. Actually, what we're gonna do first, let's do, let's do it over here. And because we'll add the paper layers, it, the pencil line won't show once this is all done. So I'm just going to go in and start adding some of this. And I really wish I would have had more like a royal blue, but I just don't. So um, we're just going to use this evergreen bow, and I think it will just kind of blend into the background pretty well. I mean, like it goes, it coordinates really well with this background. Yeah, so it'll be like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of twist it around each time that I move it so that it doesn't look like the exact same thing every single time. And then we're also going to use the splash drops wood wood veneer pieces as well to coordinate with this. And I'm going pretty heavy on the um, Distress Oxide ink here just so that it shows up pretty well. And I, if you didn't see the video I posted yesterday, I talked about these um, blender brushes because I don't think I've done any blending on on the channel here yet. Um, these are some that I got on Amazon. They come in a big pack of like 12 or 15 or something like that, like this. And they weren't very much. They were, I think, less than a dollar a piece, basically. Um, and then... And these don't have to be perfect, but I was just trying to kind of fit them. You can see right here where the drops go right there. And so I was kind of trying to fit them together a little bit. Again, they don't have to be perfect by any means. It was just a personal preference. And then one last one over here. Oh man. And these stencil blanks, um, they're kind of a, probably I would say a medium weight. They're not super, super thick, but they're thick enough if you did use them with um, like dimensional adhesive. I don't know. What's it called? Dimensional something? I, I don't know how it works. Um, like paste? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> then I would, something, what was I going to say? Oh, it would, it would give you a good amount on there, but it wouldn't be like super, super, super thick. Um, and then at, with just the, uh, stress oxides, I just spray these and wipe them down. Again, because the stencils, I mean, obviously any stencil, you should always be careful with it, but 
the stencil blank that I use is a nice medium weight so you don't have to worry as much about like bending or ripping the stencils so they hold up pretty well there's that okay so we're gonna pull this back down I want to do some splatters I pulled this color out but I almost want to go And then I have all sorts, I pulled out all sorts of mermaid embellishments to go with it too. So I wasn't really sure exactly what we're gonna do. So I haven't used this in a while, so it's very <laughs> um it's all settled at the bottom. I just sold this. And that kind of looks droppy. It's it's like florally, but I think it works. because it's very similar to these other colors, um, the background and that. Uh, yes. We'll just be like a nice shimmer. It won't be super, super heavy. Now I gotta clean up my big giant mess. Okay. And I got it everywhere. I pulled out these little, um, what are they called? Flare? Uh, epoxy flares from Scrap and Happy Studio as well. I buy up a lot of mermaid stuff because my kid, I mean, she loves mermaids anyways, but she is a fish in the water. And so anytime we're going to have swim pictures, we're going to use lots of mermaid stuff. Just FYI. So here is that. Okay, and then we have our pictures going to go here. So I need to add some paper layers up behind this. I'm only a little bit prepared today, guys. I'm not very prepared. <laughs> um, we're going to pull out this. It's the Just Chill 6x8 paper pad. But I love the, the B sides of everything in here. So, I'm pull this back down. But I don't want it to blend into the background too bad. I lied. I don't want to do this one. We're going to find something else. Hold on. Okay. This is a new one. It's the Brave and Bold by Amy Tangerine. It's not super new. It's new to me. I ordered a bunch of stuff back in like I don't know December and pre-ordered from uh, a cherry on top and then I kept putting it off on opening the box because I wanted to do a big like unpacking unboxing whatever it's called video for you guys and then I never did it so I finally decided just to pull this stuff out so this is something I've heard from that. That's pretty. See, I wanted like this color blue to go with the water, but I, I mean, that'll be pretty. It's, it's totally fine. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll that. Oh, the, okay, I like that too. 
I love that one. I think I, I might have gotten that in a 12 by 12, I hope. He cut some of these hearts too. Ooh, that's cool. I don't know what Andy is doing, but he might have been able to just hear her yelling something. Kind of funny. Yeah, I don't really want to use the hot pink. I love that one. I think I got that one as a 12 by 12 too. I haven't, again, I haven't finished unpacking that whole box, so we'll see. Okay. So, first, adhesive on here. Let's go. Let's do that one first. I'm going to go in and just kind of lightly give some dimension to them. Let's see what, okay, this is, no, no, no. I think I want to do this one with a border punch. Let's do that for this. him in there and then that'll give it just a nice little amount of texture on that side. I'll go ahead and rough up this pink edge just a little bit. Okay. And then we need some y'all are not bored with my kind of live action here <laughs> going on. I really just didn't, I knew that if I did a recorded and then didn't do the live, whatever it's called, uh, real time, 
that I probably would take a million years to go back and do the voiceovers and the editing. So I figured that this was probably a better way to do it. Um, that would actually get the video up on my channel faster. What? on this guy. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, stop. Okay. So anyways, yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and just do it as a real time because it would actually get it on the channel faster. That. We're gonna fussy cut a couple of those parts in a minute because they're that really cool shimmery -ness. That will go in this general area. We're gonna pull a little bit of this paint off. It just feels really heavy. Okay, these are from Rosie Studio. Sorry, my whole, my whole everything, my whole life is a disaster right now, but um, especially my craft area, went on a, we call it sewing retreat, but I just took scrapbooking stuff this time around, um, went on sewing retreat a few weeks ago and came back and never finished putting any of my crap away, so everything's just... A giant disaster everywhere. So, um, let's do dream and then we'll do dream and then fin with something else. Okay, here we're gonna glue this down first. And because of we probably don't necessarily need it, but we're gonna go ahead and do liquid glue instead of or tear tape because of the ink on the background. So, there is that. I feel like I'm forgetting something that should go in the background here, but I don't know what it would be. So we're just going to go ahead and stick this on here. So there's that. Okay, and then we're going to do Dream. Oh man, these are devastating. Hold on, I need to get that middle part out of here. Um, normally I probably, even with them being super sticky, would probably still put some extra liquid adhesive behind them, but, uh, because it is layered over a photo, the photo paper will, like, grab it super well. Actually, I will add a little bit over here. Just, just a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna find a font really fast. Uh, 
There we go. Here, let's do an exclamation mark just because we can. No, it's got to go a little higher. And actually, I'm going to use somewhere the liquid to add the little dot because the dots don't have enough space to for enough adhesive to hold them down so they won't stay. And then I think we're going to use these little um, asterisks. I don't know how to say that in a plural form, but the asterisk stickers we're going to use. Um, these are, okay, so those white words were from Ruth Studio, but these mermaids are from Hobby Lobby. And we're going to use some of them. At least one of them. I don't know if we're going to use some. Maybe we do. We need a couple. They'd be super fun. And let's do her. Huh. Let's. Okay. We're going to put some foam dots behind her. Cover up just a tiny bit. Oh, and now she's stuck to me. Okay. Sadly, her adhesive is really good too. I mean, it's a good thing, but it's not good whenever I don't want it to be. <laughs> so, let me get some minis out. These are, if you've never watched, these are Stampin' Dimensionals. They are from Stampin' Up. They are $4 a package. You get three sheets in each package. So $4 for three sheets, not bad at all. And I like to, oh, I got blue on the front. Of I like to order up a good amount every like, whenever I start to run low, I'll order up a good amount. And there's that. And then, um, like, I just ordered some not that long ago, actually. Um, I kind of like her, but I don't know where to put her. I want her here. But this is weird. Oh, and I broke it. Okay, here. Let's just, we're going to do this. This looks weird. No, nope, that looks really inappropriate. We're not going to do that. That was a lie. Huh. Okay, let's do her. We'll do her here. But at least it doesn't look like the dream is coming out of her mouth, which did not really look good at all. <laughs> so we'll just say that's good. Okay. What was, there was a thing I was saying, but I don't remember what it was. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to use some splashes. And then there's liquid adhesive somewhere here. definitely going to have to cut my uh, myself some more of these splashes because these are going to be perfect for girlies swim lamps I love the teeny tiny ones too. They're super cute.
There we go. Okay, so we have all the little babies. I also pulled out the, what are these called? The Nuva Drops. I haven't used Nuva Drops in forever. I just haven't scrapbooked enough lately, honestly. Um, so pulled out the Nuva Drops. Let's see. I kind of like the Aqua Plains to do on top of the teardrops, do you think? So I'm gonna go in and just do not a super heavy coat on here. Um, but it gives it just a little bit of bluish. So it's not super, super wood veneer. <laughs> and I could have done this before and let it dry, but that's too much effort I'm not gonna do that you guys know I'm not that I'm more lazy than that <laughs> oh there's something black This is just kind of rough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm going to do in a minute, um, use a different Nuvo drop and I think a sparkly one to do some like splash drops around too, like not including on the wood. Okay. And I will tell you, um, on the wood veneer sometimes because air, uh, will get trapped in, because it's wood, there's air inside the wood. Um, sometimes the air will kind of bubble up through the Nuva drops. So sometimes it will leave like tiny little bubbles in there. But I mean, that doesn't bother me, but just in case that is something that bothers you, that is something to keep in mind. So for, I'm going to zoom in for a second. <laughs> so not just a tiny bit. Okay. For teardrops, if you take your Nuva drops, you do a dot and then pull down and it'll give you that kind of teardrop effect. So a big dot and then that one's kind of blobby looking. Sorry, um, the doorbell rang and it is some sort of salesy people and I just didn't answer it because <laughs> I, I don't want to, so. So we're going to go in and keep adding these little new drops. And the more you do them, the easier they get. Oh, except that one looked awful. But you can always go in and kind of fix things. Everything can be fixed or covered up or changed or added to. You just keep adding things till it works. Hold on.
all the time. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We'll just cut each other all over. Um, I want to... Let's take cut a couple of these hearts. Do we have... There's three. I just picked the blue ones. And then um, we'll go in and add Chewy again. We're going to go in and add these just around to give some shine and some sparkle. Like one will be over probably in this general area. Chewy, come here. Come here. Chewy is being our big, bad, protective dog. He's only 20 pounds, so it's not like he is big and bad. He's a little guy. Chewy. But he thinks he's big and tough. Okay, and then uh, this one probably up in that area. I like the summer vibes. Let's do this one. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And then we're gonna stick a dimensional on this guy. And honestly, we're going to cover up a dot that I made, but that is just fine. It is what it is. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. And I want that heart to have a little bit of dimension, so I just kept in here. We'll use dimension stickers on the other guys. No, oh, it's too late. Oh, no, no, we got it up. Let's, okay, we're covering up another dot. I'm sorry. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. And then this guy can go over here somewhere. Maybe just like that. Okay, and he needs some more adhesive. So there are those. All right. This is making it pretty. So we're gonna move some stuff around for a second. Where's the paper that goes to this? Oh, it's it's there. Never mind. Okay. We're good with that. I kind of like this guy. Let's do him right there. something else. I feel like there was something else I was going to add, but I don't know what it is. So let's pull out this sprinkly bit bin down here. What are you doing, baby?
Okay, so India's in here now. She will be playing over there and making noises. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> Okay, let's do these and then something I have sequins that would be perfect for this. Oh, here. Okay, these are from the Magical Mixery store and they're bashful seashells. There's all sorts of pieces in there, but there's teeny tiny little seashells in there, so those definitely need to go on here. Okay. Go. A couple of these little holographic hearts. These are from the Valentine section at Hobby Lobby, and they're not my most favorite just because of the holographic. I holographics just not my most favorite, but it feels like that's kind of what we have going on here, anyways. So we're just gonna go ahead and tie them in. I want to add in some of, oh, where's? It's gonna add in some of these dots. this nice aqua glitter one so we're gonna add a few of those in here do you hear India playing <laughs> it's super cute Okay, so there's all those sparkly bits, and then these. We're gonna add some of these guys in here, and then we'll call it good. And I'll probably go in and do my journaling later, just because that's easier. <laughs> And we'll just go around and add some of these little doodads everywhere. And if you've not gone to oh, I can't remember her real name um the woman that does the magical mixery magical mixery store is that that's what it's called right magical mixery store um on Etsy she's got a shop and it is awesome she's got a ton of stuff um she started out with just really just mostly sequins but now she's got all sorts of little embellishments and stuff in her shop. So if you need all the cute little fun stuff, you can head over there. She also, um, I don't know if she still does this. I haven't been shopping a whole lot lately, which is odd. I know, I know, it's crazy. Um, oh, come on, stupid little piece, turn over. Right, anyways, um, I haven't been shopping a lot, so I'm not sure if she still does this, but for when she first opened her shop and a lot of the mixes that I have of hers, um, she was doing them based on other, I don't want to use the gold ones. She was doing them based on other, um, some of them based on collections. Where are the seashells? Uh, 
Uh, so like, not all of her sequin sets are like that, but several of them. Are they in here? There's one that was like the carousel collection, one that was the, um, the Maggie Holmes, the floral one, I think. She had several for Maggie Holmes. And anyway, so she would coordinate them to match, to coordinate with the, uh, the collection. So they were really, really cute sets. So if you need anything like that, that is where you should head. that will just be about it for us for this one. I'm going to do another little seashell down here. I love these little clay seashells. They're teensy tiny, like, like you would use them for your fingernails, kind of probably what they are, like little fingernail decal things, but they're so cute. They're just, I see them and they're kind of the perfect color for this so it worked out amazingly so that is it i'm gonna go in and i will probably do just a tiny bit of journaling uh probably down here and then add a date somewhere probably along with this i may be up who knows i don't know we'll add a date somewhere soon so this is our layout for today we use all sorts of fun goodies. There's lots of glitter and shimmer and shine to go with it. And there you go. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing all the new product and all of the fun little goodies that we added in. So thanks. Have a wonderful day, guys. I hope you have, no. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy scrapping. Bye.